Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial here on IT Door Tutorials. I am Josef Botnar. I'm inviting you for uh, a new tutorial, uh, for a new C Sharp tutorial. Um, actually, this uh, tutorial has the goal uh, to show you how to create the first app uh, using uh, .NET 6.0 uh, and uh, C Sharp 10. But first of all, let's see how you can uh, launch uh, or release uh, your Visual Studio 2022. If uh, you are using uh, Windows, you go on the uh, Start button and uh, click on All Apps and choose a, a letter from this uh, list. Uh, actually, choose a V letter from uh, Visual. And here uh, you must find uh, Visual Studio 2022. Click on it and uh, Microsoft Visual Studio will be released. Yeah. In order to create a new project, uh, click on create a new project and uh, I'm going to create a console app, therefore select the console app, click on next and here you will write the project uh, name, I'm going to write the uh, first app net uh, 6 and C sharp 10. Okay, click uh, on next button and I'm going to select the uh, first .NET 5.0 which is current as you can see here and uh, .NET 6.0 is long term support. Again, I'm going to select the uh, 5.0 because I want you to see the difference between uh, .NET 5.0 and .NET 6.0. Yeah, click on Create button. Here you go. As you can see, we are using actual Visual Studio create automatically this uh, app, the first app, using. Uh, .NET 5.0 and C Sharp uh, 10 or C Sharp uh, 9. Created five uh, statements. This uh, using system, the namespace is the second, the th third is the class, the program class, uh, the fourth is uh, the main method and the fifth is uh, this uh, statement uh, using this class console and the method uh, right line. Yeah, you can uh, execute this uh, app and you will receive this message hello word in a console. So it's uh, working but uh, as you can see we have uh, five uh, statements. This uh, statement using a system is an, a new s namespace uh, system we have to use it in order to be able to use this uh, class uh, console. If I am going to remove this, as you can see, we receive errors. Yeah, so we have to use uh, in uh, at least in .NET uh, 520 uh, this uh, usings in the top uh, of uh, each file, which is part of our project. All right, you go here and uh, click on using system. And now, as you can see, the arrow disappeared. So each uh, code file uh, must have a namespace. This namespace is a container or a collection which uh, will organize the classes in uh, your code and also will forbid to use uh, two classes with the same name. Yeah. If I want to use another class here with the same name program I will receive error yeah because this namespace will stop us to use two or more classes with the same name yeah 
as you can see if I uh, hover uh, this name uh, program here is written that uh, we have another class with the same name with the same definition program yeah if I change the name like uh, process As you can see, I don't have an error uh, anymore. Now the namespace allow me to create another class. Yeah, this is very good because if uh, we are using uh, classes with the same name in the same namespace, this will create uh, confusion, will confuse us, and our code is going to be a bit uh, mess. All right, and uh, let's me uh, let me to remove this. Yeah. And after we have this uh, class which contains the main uh, entry, it contains the entry of uh, our C sharp code uh, using this uh, main uh, method. And here uh, actually we are using this method, uh, right line, which is uh, part of this class console in order to uh, display this message hello world in console as uh, you have seen all right but let's see what uh, is going to happen if i remove this namespace also the class the program class and the main method all right and all these uh, curly brackets okay let's move this statement up here on the top beside using system all right good let's remove this from here and now we have just two statements now our code looks very clean and looks very simple isn't it let's see if it works yeah it works no problem no errors yeah, as you can see here is the message hello world so this is a uh, .NET five and uh, this uh, feature starting with uh, c sharp nine you can use the top level program feature as you can see now on the screen you can uh, minimize your uh, console application you are not uh, bound to use uh, the namespace uh, the program class uh, the main method yeah it's enough if you use uh, only two statements and your code will uh, work so uh, this is the minimal console app which is uh, possible because uh, the top level uh, program this is a new feature starting with uh, .NET 5.0 uh, and uh, C sharp 9 all right so let's close this and let's create a new project first up C sharp 10 and net 6 okay click on next and here select dot uh, net 6 uh, dot 0 and click on create all right as you can see here we have just one statement just one statement none no usings no namespace no class program class no uh, main method just a simple statement this is uh, possible because the new feature of uh, .NET 6.0 and C sharp 10 which is called global usings if you expand solution explorer you select uh, show all files go here and extend this folder obg Extend the box subfolder, extend this uh, subfolder net uh, 
6.0 and here look for this file where uh, is this uh, global usings click on it and as you can see now we have this new feature in dot uh, net 6.0 global usings so we can use uh, these global usings in a separate file in this file yeah and we are not mandatory anymore to use the usings in on the top of our code or uh, on the top uh, of the files which uh, is part of our project yeah as you can see the first uh, global using where is this system the color the blue color is highlighted yeah because this is the global using which is in use now because I'm using this class console yeah the next uh, the color the blue color is faded yeah because these uh, global usings are not in use now but they are here because mostly these uh, usings are used in C sharp application and in the moment when you will use one of these this faded uh, blue color will uh, become a highlighted blue color like the first one all right and here you can uh, add another global usings what you want to use your, applica your application and you know you will use that uh, using in the many files of your project and you don't need any more to put uh, on the top on your files which will make uh, your code uh, more clean uh, will make your code uh, simpler and uh, you will code more efficient than uh, before yeah this looks very good uh, as you can see let's uh, release this app in console as you can see it's working hello world no uh, no problem compared how it looked before a C sharp uh, code now it, it looks uh, more clean simpler and uh, more efficient thank you for watching this video tutorial see you next time bye bye